So we're back perhaps a little bit earlier than expected after a quick game week three with game week four in the FM Premier League with my Southampton team this time taking on the FM Teachers West Brom side. So we'll be looking to pick up a couple of wins today. West Brom struggling at the bottom of the table so far with no points. We've picked up now eight points having got our win against Burnley last time, our first win of the season. So we need a couple more wins to shoot up that table. Now, I am, as usual, recording this intro after having played the games. So again, we've got exciting games. We've got plenty of goals. For the first time in one of these matches, there's a clean sheet involved somewhere. Watch on to find out for who. Just one thing, um, the FM teacher was hosting these matches he did set the highlight speed to rather fast in the first game, so you will see the ball pinging around quite a bit. It is sorted out, though, for the second game, played at a much more natural pace. But um, don't worry about that. Just enjoy the games, and don't forget to go down into the comments section. Let me know what you think of our journey in the FM Premier League so far. And don't forget to hit that like and leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Road to 1K. Help me get there. Okay, so here we are, ready for game week four, Southampton, West Brom. And we're sticking with a familiar looking lineup. We're away for this first game, so we're going with our balanced version of the tactic. Forster, Salisu, Bednarek, never mind the real life Bednarek. This is my FM Touch version. Walker Peters and Bertrand in those wing back positions. Bellhand Award Prowse, Armstrong, Edwards, and Redmond, and Danny Ings up front. So. The same kind of lineup that we've been sticking with. We are unbeaten, don't forget. We may have only won one game out of six, but we are unbeaten. We got a bit of luck, late luck, in that last match against Burnley to finally get three points on the board. Let's see if we can pick up some more points against West Brom today. We've kicked off West Brom. Looks like they're playing with an interesting formation. Three at the back. Now... Just wondering how they're showing the formation. Is that two defensive midfielders and two wing backs, Or is it just a deep midfield line? But it looks like they're packing the defence quite a bit. And then the attacking midfielder. And two up top. So we're going to have to watch for those long balls over the top. The FM teacher, an astute tactical opponent. I've played him online before. Last year in the uh, Route 1 GG Euro Under 21 Championships. I managed Germany under-21s, met his England under-21 side in the semi-final. We lost. We were outplayed. But uh, let's see. Southampton on paper, stronger than West Brom. West Brom, one of the more, you know, one of the tougher teams to manage in this competition. But anything can happen in a game of FM touch. Well, we're building up nicely here. Bellhander picks out Armstrong. Armstrong behind the defence. Oh, nice ball by Armstrong. Love that. He didn't get greedy and go to blast home a shot. He just played a nice ball inside across the six-yard box to Danny Ings tapping in from six yards. What he does best. Oh, look at that. Beautiful ball. Well, beautiful ball to find Armstrong in the first place and beautiful vision, awareness from Armstrong to pick out Ings in the middle. We are on our way. Right, quick praise shout as we come to the next highlight. Oh, uh, FM teacher, I think, has fiddled with the controls and speeded this up a bit. Oh, Ings with the shot, uh, saved by the keeper. Oh, this is way too fast for my liking. Uh, I, I will adjust it back in a moment. Here comes Gibbs. Oh, it's bouncing around all over the place. I can't keep up with it. Here comes Ings. I should be talking really fast, I think. Well, apart from the goal, it's been a fairly quiet first half. We're coming up for half time and now no further action. We've had the goal from Ings. We haven't really seen much threat from West Brom. Is it going to be 1-0 going into the break? It looks like it. Only a minute to be added on. Well, we've edged it. I think we deserve our lead, but we've got to watch out. We know from our previous outings in this competition that, you know, 1-0 is never enough. There's always a chance that they come back in the second half. But I'm pretty happy with everyone's performance. I mean, Bellhander's only on a 6.6, .6, but everyone else is playing okay. No outstanding performances. I mean, obviously, Ings and Armstrong 
Bertrand they were all involved in that goal. All right, here we go. It's still... I did adjust the speed on this, but it's still going super fast for some reason. I don't know why Ings got the goal. It doesn't matter. Let me check that again. I did adjust that down. Um, okay, this is more like the kind of speed I'm used to. Anyway, Redmond... Oh, his initial cross was blocked, but he picked up the ball. Ings just exploited the space between those, what, eight West Brom players who were in the box. Well, again, much like the first half, it's been pretty quiet, apart from the highlight that led to a goal. But, oh, here we go. There's a West Brom goal. I do apologise for these super fast highlights. Uh, not my doing, it has to be said. As you saw, I've tried to keep the speed down, and I'm not sure why it's so fast. Anyway, it doesn't make for the best viewing, but here comes Kay Grant. They're looking to pull it back to 2-2. Again, we've got that issue with not keeping clean sheets. Um, I need to perhaps look at tightening up the defence. I mean, I really, to be fair, as Armstrong restores the two-goal advantage, I didn't really look at strengthening the defence when we had that pre-season transfer period. There will be a January transfer window this year in the FM Premier League. In past years, there hasn't been one. It's just been with a budget doing some transfers before the season begins. We have been told we will be given a budget depending on our league position, club reputation, and so on. I'm going to bring on Walcott for Marcus Edwards here. but So maybe I need to look at strengthening the defence. I mean, the defence have played well today. They haven't been terrible, but, you know, we're still just leaking goals at the back. Okay, so Jam Borrell's going to come on as well. He, of the super long throws, I'm going to drop him back to support. You know, we, we don't need to expose ourselves too much at this point. We've got the lead. We want to protect it. We don't want a repeat of that Burnley game with the late goals. And, you know, we thought we actually looked for a moment like we were going to lose against Burnley, even though we'd been cruising to victory. Anyway, here we go. It's uh, another super fast highlight. What is going on here? Uh, I, I just can't keep up with that. That is ridiculous. I'll have a chat with the FM teacher in the Discord between games and see if I can get him to slow it down because I assume he must have set it to super fast. Anyway, it's another goal for West Brom. It's 3-2 with six minutes to play. Ugh, we're going to have to look at making some tactical changes, I think, to protect this lead. All right, so I'm going to take off that overlap and I just want them to slow the tempo down a bit. We're going to play a bit narrower, keep it a bit tighter, be more disciplined as well. So we're going to regroup. We're going to look to hold our shape. We'll keep with slow the pace down. I'm just going to drop a little deeper as well. I'm not going to switch from uh, balanced down to defensive or cautious. I often find that doesn't work. Um, nearly an equaliser there for West Brom. Let's see. Maybe we can sneak something here to put it beyond doubt. It comes out to Borrell. Is Borrell going to get his cross in? He picks out Ward-Prowse. I thought he was going to shoot there. Armstrong back to Borrell. Ward-Prowse looking for the through ball, but it goes straight to Johnston. Now we've got to watch out for the West Brom counter. Luckily, though, we win it back straight away. Walcott plays in Ings. Ings completes his hat trick. Oh, he's got to be moving up that top scorer chart in the league now. Jamie Vardy. Ings is coming for you. Beautiful through ball. Again, we split the defence open. I think that seals it. That gets us the 4-2 win. I'm going to praise the boys near the end of the game there. Five minutes of stoppage time, but it's too late for West Brom. It did come back into it in that second half. If you look at the stats, they certainly levelled things up. We still had the better XG, ultimately, and that told in the final scoreline. 4-2. Let's get on to the second game. Right, so we're lining up for the second game here. We're going with our positive formation. Let's see if we can you know, push forward that home advantage this time and get some early goals. I've just put Redmond on as an inverted winger here this time. And we've got Bertrand and Walker-Peters doing the overlaps. And hopefully they're going to cause some havoc. Let's get into it. It's the second match. We're at the St. Mary's Stadium this time. Can we make it six points? from game week four. Let's find out. So we're off a bit of a different formation from West Brom this time. So they've gone with the back three. They've got some more advanced players in their midfield. 
bit more width to their team perhaps let's see if that makes a difference we've slowed the highlights down i put in a special request to the fm teacher in between games anyway marcus edwards on a mazy run he gets all the way through my god what a goal that's the second time he scored a goal like that this season little somersault roll in the corner well deserved i mean that came out that was all marcus edwards he picked the ball up there when their attack broke down just skipped past everyone goalkeeper a uh, big question mark over his positioning <laughs> why he went that far towards the center left his near post exposed but it, we, we we won't worry about john stone and what he's doing we'll just worry about what marcus edwards is doing here we go now throw in deep in our half let's build something from the back salisu gets it ward prowse nice get it out to the flanks that's what we like to see bertrand charging forward is he going to play in edwards or is he going to continue the run he's continued the run skipped past his man got the cross in towards ings edwards looking for a second just wide oh if we could have gone two nil up there that would have put us in a very strong position but now we've got west brom coming through but luckily the through ball too close to Forster. Forster who plays a low one to Edwards. Nicely picked out. Redmond gets past his man. Redmond scores. Yes, 2-0 up inside. 18 minutes. Celebrates at the corner flag. Getting a bit intimate with the corner flag there, but all right, look at that. Bell hander to Redmond. Beautiful control from Redmond. Completely beat his man. His man might as well have not been there. It was that Lacroix. He should have should have just stayed at home. Anyway, we get into a highlight straight from the kickoff. I hope this isn't going to be West Brom immediately getting back into it. Good, they've given it away to Bertrand. Bertrand plays one forward. Is Ings going to get there? No, he was just beaten to it. But that's the kind of threat we have. Here comes Marcus Edwards. Oh, played a bit of a risky ball there, but Belhander mopped it up. There we go. Redmond again. Is he going to add a second? No, this time Lacroix does his job gets back and forces the corner ward prowse to take with the in swinger went for the man at the far post didn't quite get there but we're recycling possession we're keeping the ball keeping the pressure up this is good stuff okay here we go chance to add something before half time hopefully ings what's he gonna do here oh he looked to pick out edwards but west brom just had too many bodies in the way Let's have a look now. Redmond gets it, though, on the left. He's causing havoc down there. And is that going to be a penalty? No, no. I thought we were going to get a VAR review there. But we'll play on. Ward Prowse gets the ball. Nice play to pick out. Edwards picks out Ings, but it's called back for offside. Oh, we were unlucky there, I think. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, mm, fractionally offside, but fair call. So we do keep our clean sheet. We do keep our two-goal lead intact coming into the half. Now, West Brom are playing a bit more advanced, a bit further up the pitch than they were in the first game. They're kind of packing the midfield, but so far, I think we're doing pretty well. We could probably think about... I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to break what's uh you know working fine we could stretch the pitch a bit more that could be an option to come call on in the second half looks like my opponent the fm teacher is making a few changes so we'll be right back whenever he's ready okay second half is now underway yep there has been a bit of a change we've got an extra man in midfield from the fm teacher he's brought on gallagher as well just going with the one attacking midfielder but so far that hasn't really changed the complexion of the match all right ings of course had that goal disallowed he's only listed as being on a 6.4 is that all well we're going to make some changes i'm going to leave ings on for now i'll take armstrong off i'm just going to put um Jenpo out onto the right and we'll have marcus edwards playing through the middle and we'll bring on... No, we won't bring on Barisic for Bertrand. Bertrand's having a good game. He's still got a bit of uh, a bit of gas in the tank, I think. So we'll leave him on for a little bit longer. Keep another substitution for around the 80-minute mark and one for stoppage time if we need a time killer. Ward-Prowse then. With the outswinging corner, but Edwards picks it up. Bertrand back out to Ward-Prowse in acres of space. Can't use it effectively, but we've got Walker-Peters, Bellhander... They're keeping possession. We're just playing patiently. All right, good. We can afford to do that in the position we're in. 
but this is the kind of thing we don't want to live to regret later in the game. Walker Peters with the ball. Redmond, those skies it. This time it came off his shin. Right, we are going to make that change. We're going to bring on Danny Sturridge for Ings, just because Ings has been, you know, frozen out of the game, apart from that offside strike. Okay, here we go. Bellhander picks out Redmond. Redmond with the goal. Oh, I almost missed that one. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely play. Great ball from Bellhander to pick out Redmond there. Let's have a look at that again. He just does a 1-2 with Bednarek. Knew exactly where Redmond was. Redmond timed the run to perfection. Scores the goal. Fantastic. That seals the three points pretty much, I would say. Yes, we will continue with our changes. Of course we will. Right then, one final substitution. I'm going to bring on Walcott for Redmond. Redmond's run himself into the ground. We'll let Walcott play out on the left this once. And, um, you know, he got an assist in the last game. Maybe he'll have a late contribution in this one as well. All right, here come West Brom, Gallagher, Romero. Can we hold on to our clean sheet, please? Good save by Forster. That was the best move we've seen from West Brom in this half, I think. Our substitution is made. Five minutes to go. Are we going to wrap up a nice six points today against West Brom? That's what I was hoping for last week against Burnley. It wasn't to be, unfortunately, on that occasion. But four points not to be sniffed at. This is going to be six points. So we're moving up the table. We're still undefeated. And we're possibly about to keep our first clean sheet. In the next game week, game week five, there's the final whistle. We're going to be playing Chelsea. Don't worry about the trophy presentation. I wish there was some way we could disable this beforehand. But there we go then. A nice, comfortable 3-0 win. Two goals for Redmond. One goal for Marcus Edwards. Hat-trick from Ings in the first game being key. Thank you to my opponent, Ryan, the FM teacher. So, yes, two wins on the board and our first ever clean sheet. Danny Ings, hat-trick. All sorts of lovely stuff happening in those matches i do hope you enjoyed them next week we're playing chelsea cj plays his team we could cause an upset i don't know chelsea's form has been a bit up and down so you know we'll be aiming for at least one win out of those matches do join me for those but for now thank you very much for watching i'm dodgy gamer and i'll see you again soon